Hi Garrett. Good. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us here You're at uh, Thermal uh, Club. Uh, and now we're with the NSX uh, 2017 Acura NSX, and we're gonna do a demonstration of the launch control system, right? That's correct. Okay. Um, my I'm one of the development engineers for the car. My area was structure rigidity, uh, noise and vibration, and the the sound of the powertrain. You did a good job. On that. Thank you. <laughs> I very love much. the sound because. This car, like, it's a hybrid, but like, it really sounds like a really sports car. Good, good. We worked hard on that. So this first lap, we'll just do a siding lap. Yeah. We'll stay in Sports Plus. We'll accelerate, kind of just medium down this lane. I'll show you the braking zone. Yeah. We'll come back and we'll line up and we'll do two launches. Okay. So for the launch control thing, what do we do? Um, so the launch control is very simple. Um, all you have to do for launch control is first you change to track mode. Okay. So while you turn and hold. The yeah, for like five indicator seconds. Yeah. For one, two, three, and then it'll beep. Okay. And you're in track. And what you'll do is you just left foot brake. You'll go full throttle accelerator. Um, accelerator. Inside the tack will be an indicator launch mode ready. Okay. And you'll lift your foot off the brake and just keep flat on the floor of the throttle. And yeah. That's all it is to it. Great. Very so, but simple. then this first one we're just gonna. This one we're just gonna go out in Sports Plus and just kind of show you the course, show you the braking zone. There's, there's plenty of room for braking. You don't have to do threshold braking. Okay. So, so we're ready. We're not gonna do launch control here now. Not this Just time. Just like no. start. Just start normal. Yeah. Leave your foot on the brake to, oh. to change to drive. There you and go. then just accelerate normally. Yeah. So we'll be accelerating down this lane. And you see up ahead, there's some cones that are laid down on their sides. Yeah. You'll be accelerating full throttle until you pass this line. Then you'll just lift. So from this, when you cross this, this line, this is lift. This is lift. Okay. And you've got all the way to the trees to break. So just drive all the way out there so you can see how much space you've got. A lot, yeah. Okay. So that you're not nervous about, you know, lifting running too soon, out of, running, you're running out of, out of space. space. Yeah. You've got plenty of room and the brakes are really strong. So we'll take it okay. left here and we'll go through the fence, this opening, and we'll just hug the fence to the right and kind of walk, just taxi our way back uh, out of the course and then back to. Uh, You're yeah, fine, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a little lane okay. here, just outside of the, the autocross course here. And and tiny we, cones. Little tiny ones, yeah. yeah. As we exit, we'll just take a quick glance, make sure there's no cross traffic. Looks like we're good. We'll head to the left between these cars. Okay, so we'll swing out wide to the right to line up and uh, straight on these cones here. the camera man yeah just get centered <laughs> here uh, yeah, stop at the beginning okay, okay just one second so now we are for the real thing right yep so okay first thing so is you're gonna change the track mode and you just hold it in here for a few seconds yep great it's indication over there that we're on track and so there's no like control I nothing mean, like, else okay it's very very simple so just left foot brake. All the way down. All the way down. And when you're ready, right foot flat to the floor. Make sure it's you're through the kick down switch. So you're all the way flat to the floor. Yeah. Again, watch for that launch mode ready. Okay. Then just lift off the brake nice and smooth and stay hard in the pedal until we get those double cones. Okay, here we go. Yep. for the sound. <laughs> and lift. And lift. Wow. So the official 0 to 60 time is around 3 seconds. So we haven't released the official number. We have our own internal procedure, but we're letting all the journalists test for themselves. Okay. There, I mean, was I don't I didn't time it, but uh, I was almost about to 100. Yeah, yeah it's, that's about it's amazing. About, about a 95 mile an hour run there. And, uh, what we're saying is we're definitely very competitive with 911 Turbo, R8, Ferrari 458, all of those. And, uh, and definitely very e easy to use system because in the other cars yeah. you have to control, turn on the, the launch control thing. This is just like. Yeah. 
tire dust it. Yep, as long as you're in track mode and left foot brake, that's it. So very simple. Of course, we're highlighting there that the seamless interaction of the three motors with the twin turbo V6. The motors give you that instant torque right off the line. And as the boost builds, it takes over from the motors and you get a very seamless, linear acceleration. shifting and all that like that really gives you the, the, the sense that you are in a yeah in a sports car so we have valves on the exhaust so in sport mode they open up depending on throttle position or rpm about 3000 rpm or so but in sport plus and track they're open all the time so you bypass the sensor completely okay. on the intake system we kind of short circuit from the intake manifold we have a valve right here that allows the sound and the pressure to hit this diaphragm and then there's these pipes that are right behind your head. So in track mode, again, we open this wide up so you can really feel and hear the intake sound and the exhaust sound together. So there's no artificial sounds uh, created here? Yeah, this is all natural created. You know, you're listening to the intake, you're listening to the exhaust. Through the, there's, there's different maps for the valves depending on which mode you're in. It's in quiet mode, they're closed completely. Yeah. We limit the shifting to 4,000. But then in sport, you get uh, kind of a medium amount of this, and then sports plus in track, we just amp it up even more. Sure. And the idea is in track, we move the helmet on, you can get a lot of audio cues about when you're shifting. Like, like, like the downshift you mentioned, we crack yeah. the valve open so you can really get the sound, and you, you know you've hit that downshift. That's great, so all natural sound. It's, uh, because I know some manufacturers use some artificial uh, sound system to, sure. to make you feel that you're in a sports car right. not this is not another case yeah this these systems are it's fully authentic engine sound that you're hearing. well thank you very much great thank experience you. and congratulations yeah. again on the on your work on this beautiful great. car thank you appreciate it <laughs>